I had a scare this morning. Make sure that when you activate your security alarm, that you don't forget you have a security alarm because I opened the door this morning. <laughs> oh, I think I woke the whole neighborhood up. Ah, I'm like still ringing in the ears. It's so loud. I don't mean to be the center of attention, hood. Sorry. Hope I didn't wake you up. Who's been a chatty little Kathy, huh? Who's been a chatty little Kathy? Have you been a chatty little Kathy? Hmm, cutie, princess? Look at you. Yes. You are adorable. With your black holes for eyes. <laughs> I think sometimes I wonder what the securities company thinks of me. They're like, that the lady at the counter and the desk, you know how like they have the camera and they can see when you deactivate it and it, re it records to make sure it's you. She's probably looking at like this fool again. <laughs> hey, at least I'm arming my house, okay? I honestly like living with other people, I always felt safer, so I never felt the need. Um, so I never used it, but now at least I use it. I mean, you pay for it, you use it, right? You better use it if you pay for it. I mean, uh, this is some laundry I have to do today. The laundry just finished. I try to make these vlogs different every single day. Now, y'all probably asking me what I do and everything, okay? So, I use softener and detergent, so that's how the thing goes. Hardly use bleach, but this is the detergent. I mean, the softener I use. Cheap stuff, but good stuff, and it smells good, and I use extra as well. Oh, there's my dryer sheets. I better remember. Okay, thankfully I remembered because I keep forgetting to use these drying sheets. I only need one, right? No, I'm going to use two. You know why? Because I hardly notice the scent. And some people reuse them. I don't. That kind of is picking up like a lot of dust, dirt, and debris. And so they just got washed. Um, I can't overload this because... The, well, I don't want to call out a company and have problems, but they don't really make them that good because they kind of uh, are a company meant for technology, not for laundry machines like other technology. So I always, the doll is here. Um, well, not only because uh, I need to clean it, but I use dolls for my Reiki healing on my website, TonyBonBunny.com. 10% off coupon code Tony at checkout if you would like your own book sessions. But um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of Reiki lately. So I, I wash them after every session because you got to wash the energy. Oh, and let me actually, uh, yeah. Always remember to clean your filter and there is a vacuum here to do that conveniently. I like this vacuum. It's brand new and bought it because the old one broke. And, uh, yeah, remember to change your air filters as well, especially during the summer. Y'all are like, Tony, we're going to watch you do laundry now? Yes, you will. Dryer sheets. Mmm. Very good smell. In you go. But I wash my bed sheets once a week. Uh, that's about right, you know. Some people do, like, once a month. I guess it's fine if you don't eat Doritos in your bed. <laughs> and you really don't sweat a lot. I tend to perspirate overnight, but then I get really cold. And I think I get cold because that perspiration, like, sticks to my skin and then makes me feel cold. And it gets cold naturally uh, in the morning as well. So, again, I don't load my laundry that much. You're not going to see many clothes, especially because they're actually... Oh, my God, I totally forgot what's today, the third. Oh, they're coming Monday tomorrow, the fourth, to clean out my pipes. Not that way, nasty. I meant the house pipe. Where, um... <laughs> you know I'm joking with y'all. Um, the, the dryer vent thingy. Maybe I should throw this poncho out. I always associate this poncho with... Like, I even don't feel good like whenever I wear it. Maybe I should toss it out. Or sage it. Every time I wear it, like, it associates me and reminds me of sickness because I was really sick one day when I first got that 
thing from a sponsor and i don't know why like ever since then like i was like so sick i associate that mantra with sickness so like i'm even getting the sniffles now just like looking at it i'm not even kidding it's like something mental maybe i need hypnotherapy for that no i'm just gonna throw it out see i read a book recently that said you know you gotta organize your house and declutter and clean right which i already knew was important but child a sick poncho no i'm literally getting the sniffles oh all right so it's all tossed in there see i really don't feel it that much but when they clean that pipe that vent it's gonna be good as new okay 40 minutes and it takes a while like things don't even dry like they should because of that pipe but they're gonna clean it out and it's a fire hazard too so you gotta be careful but yeah i never overload that washer because it has been giving me problems like air messages it gets flooded with water and it's just a, a pain it's a pain overall I, I don't know how to fix it i don't know how to solve that problem so i just don't bother overloading it otherwise the spin cycle goes crazy oh let me show you something else so I use these for my doggy. Look at him, isn't he cute? That's not my doggy, but it's cute. Um, they're uber expensive, but you should use it on your pets. So I'm gonna give him his monthly dose today. You do this once a month. And you put it on his back. Um, and that prevents a lot of problems like fleas and such. I was kind of hoping he would eat his food. He still hasn't eaten much, but I do need to give him his flea drops. So here we go, buddy. Let's go do your flea drops. I know you don't like the feeling after he, it tends to make him like lethargic and sluggish and super itchy, at least the first half hour. So I close the door so he can't escape my wrath. <laughs> the wrath of the flea. Oh, hold on, I didn't blow my all right, so I was saying I should throw that poncho out because apparently when you keep something like memorabilia for someone or something, that is the tissue box. I blow my nose. Oh, my bird is going wild. It's okay. This is not for you, honey. Um, probably because you saw Paco. Oh, you see two of me. Hello, I don't have twins. Don't worry. No one's mimicking me. Um, but because you have negative attachments and associations like with the ex if they gifted you something throw it out i always do i don't even keep things i'm just like if i have a negative attachment i toss it out i banish you in the name of jesus guys i'm up since 4 30. this has been up most me more blah, 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 blah. this is me most mornings Waking up super early to do bookings on the website. Okay, so time to give Paco his dose. Crikey, look at the load of dishes. All those are clean, that's my clean pile and I gotta do that now because I just ate. Wash your coffee makers, guys. People forget to wash the water part, the inner part, the bottom part, all parts. Wipe this down, make sure there's no water on the burner, all of that. Honestly, um, this is getting pretty old. I'm tempted to just get one of those simple pot kettle ones. Less washing, less problem, less obligation. So I'm gonna go wash now. Oh yeah, washing the dishes, meaning just rinsing and tossing them in the dishwasher like a lazy American. <laughs> Just put them there with food. Rinse them, then put them. Look at me preaching like you're 12. <laughs> I'm talking to an audience of 25 year olds <laughs> on average. But hey, you, you don't know. I mean, I, I have like that people in my life, even older than me, who have no idea. Or they have an idea, they're just 
too lazy to do it, and that's okay. Everyone's personality is not the same. But get it done. Like, don't just leave it hanging in the sink. Change your sponge once a month. That's my advice. You're just going to get advice. Like useless but useful advice on these vlogs from now on. And then tomorrow you guys are giving me advice in the comments. Like, instead of telling us how to wash dishes... Why don't you tell us how to shut up? <laughs> Not telling you to shut up. I'm saying that you would tell me to shut up. And that's that. And that's how you boil an egg. Congratulations, you won a million and two dollars. Nothing makes sense because nothing is real. Do I have to make sense? No, everything's an illusion.